The National Dog Show presented by Purina has become uh, one of the three top shows in the world. There's a great show over in London. We have the Westminster Show, and then we have the National Dog Show presented by Purina on Thanksgiving Day. The National Dog Show has become kind of a, a, a Thanksgiving Day legacy now for NBC. It, uh, uh, for many years, they had really nothing to follow the great uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which always had a large audience for them, but they had nothing to follow with until football came around several hours later. So this was uh, kind of a Hail Mary pass, if you will, to try and fill two hours with uh, the, uh, the National Dog Show. I like to look at myself as every man, and uh, I have uh, David Fry as my co-host, one of the most knowledgeable men in the uh, world of dogs, and he's there to explain a little bit about what's going on. But for me, because I know we have a brand-new audience every year, and I can't assume that they've seen a dog show before or know what we're doing. And uh, for me, it's uh, I've got to be there to answer the questions and, and at the same time keep a certain levity to it because it is, after all, family entertainment on the greatest family day on television. Imagine being in one arena where there are 2,000 dogs and just feel the excitement and just all of the energy that... Uh, that that number would bring. And one of the greatest joys we have every year is walking up and down the aisle and seeing the uh, more, uh, 167 different breeds that are now uh, uh, represented in the AKC there. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And you certainly see an elevated um, sense of awareness in the dogs when they're in the ring. They're looking around. It's very light. It's bright. There are a lot of cameras around. The things are moving. I think they certainly know because of the number of, do of, of dog shows that they've been in that these are not new dogs dogs to uh, the world of, of showing. Um, so I think they have a sense of that this is their job. This is what they've been trained to do, and there's a certain conditioning factor, I think, in that respect. So they know that they're there for a reason. Uh, but beyond that, I think they're just dogs being dogs.